Today I'm going to be working on a castle girl tattoo and we're going to be talking about line work. Today I'll be doing a castle girl. For those of you that don't know, this is a girl face. The castle crown, or sometimes just a crown. Today, she has a castle crown. Most of this video, we're gonna be talking about line work. You've heard me say it before, I'll say it again. Line work is the most important part of a piece that has line work. We might not have this factor in realism pieces, but all the other styles, this is crucial. This is the foundation of the piece. Today I'm going to be using a tight 5 with a 9 bold contrast. This will give me good contrast between my needle groupings. What I mean by that is it'll be very obvious to tell when I'm using different line weights. I'll use the differences in line weights throughout the piece to accentuate certain images or parts of the piece. So from the start, I decided to use the five liner and this method I'm using throughout the piece will essentially be line everything with the five and then go back over certain parts of it with the nine. This is a helpful technique with saving your stencil. You can go through the entire thing using one needle and come back to make it thicker where you need it to be. Also, thicker needles can straighten out thinner lines. You know, you might have had a little holiday or jagged line, you run a thicker line over it to straighten it out. It's a helpful tool. Now, one thing that is so important with line work is taking care of every line. Sometimes you'll come across smaller lines or lines in the background maybe that can feel not as important but every line is crucial. Because I'm using a five, which will produce a thinner line, I tend to have a faster hand speed. The thinner the line is, typically the faster my hand speed is, and vice versa with thick lines. The thicker it is, the slower I might move. Now with thinner lines, there are less needles. You don't need as much time for the needles to catch the skin. When you're using a bigger liner, like a nine liner, an 11 liner, there's a lot more needles. Therefore, I will give the needles time to all pierce the skin before I start moving with my line. You can see here, I whip out the nine liner. This is a thicker line, it's a very bold nine. My hand speed slows way down so I can give the needles, all nine needles, time to pierce the skin, followed by the ink puddle. Slowing down my thick lines has drastically increased the consistency and the boldness of my thicker line weights. Such a key tool to use with the thicker line weights. As you can see, I'm bordering the piece with this thick line. It puts a nice frame on the piece. We're kind of going for that Neo style, so I thought it was appropriate to have a thick line border. Sometimes when using thicker lines, you might have more trouble creating points. There's two different techniques you can flick out the needle to create a point, or some people even go back into the points with a thinner needle to sharpen them out. Now I've moved on to the shading, line work is done, we're good. I can use the lines as bumpers for my shading. Just gotta stay in the lines. I'm 
I'm using a 3RL to shade. This is a Bishop Needle, the Da Vinci. I've really been liking these needles. I think the ink flow on them is great uh, in comparison to most of the other needles that I've used. It's a little hard to see in the video, but my client has a darker complexion. Due to this, I will go a little higher with my contrast and the shading. This way, when it heals, it will compensate for the darker complexion. If my line work is on point, the rest of the tattoo will be easy. This is the time when I can relax. Cool, I've done all the framework. You know, I can get into it. The tattoo's pretty much already mapped out. If you have nice line work in your tattoo, it will drastically increase how well the tattoo looks. As I'm shading the rest of the tattoo, I might come across little areas where lines didn't meet or need to be sharpened out, and I'll go back and hit them if needed. I think this is a uh, great tool for just making sure your line work is perfect, everything connects, all the lines look consistent in terms of weight and thickness. Always go back and check your work. Hopefully you guys love the final product and enjoyed the video. If you'd like more in-depth videos about line work or anything else, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to put it out there for you guys.